Welcome to South Georgia. We are so excited to bring you guys over to one of the most amazing places in the world. South Georgia is a UK territory and currently doesn't have anyone living on it. It used to be a big whaling and sealing station and they would process the fat, the blubber. It's very, very cold. Outside you can actually already hear all these seals and sea lions talking to us. Sounds like they're cheering on the boat for our arrival here. <laughs> but I'm gonna be wearing, you know, you have to wear the waterproof layer. So I got the waterproof pants and gloves and the park it with the inside. But since it's so cold, I'm gonna wear a couple extra warm layers. Quite the process to go on the island here. You have to clean your boots before and after um, to keep from spreading any avian flu to the birds around here. Looks like glaciers everywhere, animals everywhere. And I think South Georgia is gonna be one of the top spots of the trip for sure. A lot of the crew here say that this is their favorite place in the world. So I am so excited to see such an amazing spot. In true Antarctica, South Georgia Falklands expedition, our original plan was to go to a bay and then um, go on a Zodiac cruise and walk on the island. But of course it got <laughs> messed up because of the wind here. We're just going to go on a Zodiac cruise this morning, but just going on a Zodiac cruise in this place is just is so amazing. I just looked outside and I just saw a seal jumping. It's like how many animals are here is, is amazing. Very, very excited to check out this island from the water, like very close to the water. It's unfortunate that today we had to move because of the wind, but I feel like this wind is just really protecting this place and keeping a whole lot of people from visiting all the time. It's pretty amazing. I did not realize how special it would feel to be here. It's like mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Seals welcome us curiously staring at the boat and penguins and wow. it's it's really beautiful already. Even if we just sat in the I was gonna say even if we sat in the van all day. <laughs> <laughs> even if we sat in this in this boat all day in this ship. I would still be pretty stoked about being in this little cluster. Yeah, but we have seen they're already unloading the Zodiacs. All right, well, let's start the disembarkation process. And hopefully you guys remember how on the last trip we had that catastrophe and we got this one for free. These are our friends from the last ship here. <laughs> <laughs> Heather and Sheila. Hi. And you guys think this boat's better or you think the last ship was better? I like the last one better. <laughs> oh, but helicopters. So over here, we're gonna be seeing the Antarctic fur seal, which is kind of like a sea lion in that, you know, it can walk around. So you gotta be careful. They actually showed us a clip of somebody who got bit by one. Cruise was really impressive, so we gotta avoid that. These are Antarctic fur seals, and they're mostly mothers and their babes. They hang out in the biggest number on and around South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. Almost all the mothers give birth are on the same 10 day period in December, and after four months, the pups are all on their own. Like most of the other animals around these parts, they eat mostly krill. The nursing Antarctic fur seals exclusively eat krill. Other times of the year, they also indulge in squid and fish and the very occasional bird. We found a leopard seal. These are very solitary animals, a predator with few threats. As young, they eat krill, squid, and fish, and after learning to hunt, they switch to penguins and young seals.
One easy step, that's so cool. minutes of penguins just in and around the boat or trying to get in at least king penguins which the only other time I've seen them was with Klaus and Catherine there in that spot they weren't really doing much here they were trying to jump in the boat they were nibbling at the camera underwater so we can just take a stroll here in this penguin colony and you see a ton of fur seals around too unfortunately I only got stomach bug so gotta go it alone on this one but look at this over here, glaciers, penguins. This is absolutely insane. You can see penguins as far as the eye reaches up this hill, walking on South George Island. So pretty insane. We haven't made it to the colony yet. Some of these are adults. They come back, molt. They're, uh, you know, switch out the fur for a new batch. Man, look at this little boy. Wish my cat could meet you. These king penguins have that beautiful orange color. In the presentation, they said they actually chose the color of our parkas to match. And when they tested it, they were able to get a lot closer to these penguins with these parkas compared to like a red parka. So we're getting closer to this colony up here. Oh my God, it looks like a mosh pit of king penguins. You gotta be careful. This mud, oh, it's not getting there. <laughs> Hey, my man, are you going to the colony? Can I come with you guys? Just taking a stroll with my homies here. They take their time. Oh, yeah, we got to wait for that guy, huh? <laughs> so they got to set up with a nice viewing distance here. But look at this. Oh, my. Fighting our way through here. I thought there was a lot of penguins over there. Oh, there's a baby penguin! Oh, there's three there. Is. I'm really missing Emily and so sad that she couldn't come check this out. So I hope she's doing a little better on the boat over there. And we'll have two more days in South Georgia. Hopefully fun with some awesome stuff like this. to get to the boat. Look how many babies! <laughs> and we're just gonna walk right through. Well, maybe we'll let him go first. No? Let's let me go? Thanks. Well, they got a baby in there. Watch your back, watch your back. These things will come up and nibble you, they say. Look at this. Oh, there's my ride. We can make it across here. Okay, it's time to cut across these line of creatures here. Oh, they're parting the Red Sea for us, except for this guy. What is he trying to do? What are these guys trying to do over here? Let me through, I'm trying to go home, just like you. We're all just commuting. Look at this lamb 
shame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't, don't put it on my phone. Don't put it on my phone. Emily, <laughs> she's taking it easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be your friend. <laughs> another day, another biosecurity check. Today we are waking up in Griffiken, South Georgia. Griffiken is a whaling station formed more than a hundred years ago where over 50,000 whales lost their lives to be made into lamp fuel or cosmetics. The populations have still not recovered from the whaling times. Although there are no permanent residents on South Georgia Island, Griffiken is still a temporary home for a few months of the year to historians and scientists. The buildings still stand, although now covered in cute little fur seals and rust. Here's the fur seal skull, and there's the leopard wow. seal, a little bit scarier, but look at the elephant seal. Yeah. Oh, that's the male, of course. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to see one of those elephant seals. What does this penguin feel like? <laughs> High five. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're here in Grit Vicken and they have a post office, so you know we're gonna send Bob one. Remember the post office at the end of the world? This is even better. <laughs> Hope we got your addresses right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now get it back. <laughs> Griffiken is also the place where Ernest Shackleton was laid to rest after having a heart attack on his final quest in Antarctica. Hi, so today we are going to commemorate him by having a toast at his grave. Warm day, huh guys? So apparently these are elephant seals right outside of Shackleton's grave here. Bull male can reach up to about 4,000 kilograms, you know for 8,000 pounds. <laughs> 8,000 pounds? And they get up to like six meters long. Oh my gosh, six oh, meters? Yeah, as long as the van basically. <laughs> 20 feet and 8,000. Wait, so this thing, these Whoa. elephant seals are bigger than the van. Yeah, heavier and longer. Heavier, because the van is only 76, or 7,600 pounds and 20 feet, right? Yeah, yeah. And this oh is my gosh. <laughs> so we're gonna have a toast. Oh, let me see this whiskey. I think my family was actually involved in this. Shackleton. Yeah, my uh, great grandpa had Kilmes. And uh, my cousin sent me a picture of this. Wow, so we had the toast to Shackleton. Very nice moment. My friend here, Jaden, the first alcohol he's ever drank. He's the youngest on the boat, 20 years old. 
couldn't have chose a better way, man. Definitely. To have your first drink. <laughs> yeah. Kind of memorable, huh? Oof. A little bit. <laughs> So if you don't know the story of Shackleton, I'll give you a brief little run through. Basically, he was trying to cross Antarctica, but when they got down here from Britain, they were gonna go here on the land and it got stuck in the ice. A whole year stuck on the ice, the boat gets crushed by the ice. They somehow managed with their lifeboats to get to this island. They couldn't make it to here because the water goes this way. So they had to take a lifeboat, five of them, and it took like six more months to actually rescue the rest but they rescued pretty much everybody. Everybody made it back. Amazing story of survival. But if you wanna learn more about Shackleton and all this stuff, I highly recommend the audiobook or the book Endurance, which is the tale of the story. And it is stunning. <laughs> After Shackleton made it to South Georgia, his trials were not over. He landed on an unoccupied part of the island and had to climb over a mountain and an ice waterfall to make it to the final stretch to another whaling station in Stromness Harbor where we're going to walk the same path he did today. Intrepid guy David is trying to help us through the situation here where that male and that male are not letting us past and they're also arguing. Wow. Oh, uh, we're waiting for the guide. I guess this, this homie is a little <laughs> aggressive. Oh, okay, for a while. Uh oh. There were two of them having a oh boy, yeah, send them this way. That's a good idea. I better stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We're going to do an early excursion. I don't mind because maybe we can go in to see some penguins. Yeah, the biggest colony in the world. It'll be worth it and the weather's going to be rough so they say the earlier the better. Thank you guys so much for coming to South Georgia with us. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. We also have a Patreon for a little bit more support. 
We'll see you guys soon.